Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Exam Ignite. From today, we are starting a brand new series of the subject principles of communication system for VTU fourth semester students under the 2022 scheme. This series will cover each module in a simple handwritten notes format. It's not just a theory or concept explanation, it's just exam focused notes and made to help you understand and retain the most important topics. Every day, I'll be uploading module-wise videos with clear topic-based breakdowns. Today, video is module 1, part 1, where I will be discussing the topics as per the VTU syllabus. To make the notes truly useful for the exam preparation, I have referred the model question paper 1 and 2, previous year question paper of January 2025 and July 2024 VTU question papers. I have marked topics from these papers where the questions have appeared like this a topic and I have marked that uh, in which paper it has appeared. So this way you will know exactly which topics are important and what type of questions to expect. Each topic is not arranged as it's just arranged in the notes like if the question has been appeared in the any, any of the paper, I have written the question, actual question and written a clear answer for it. If it is not asked, then I have explained you the concept in a simple and direct way. So it is easy to understand the concept. The most expected questions are clearly marked to make sure you pay a close attention to and listen it. So watch the video till the end and understand the notes thoroughly and don't forget to share it with your friends and most importantly subscribe to the exam ignite so you don't miss out the upcoming modules and the important concept I'll be explaining for the exam. So let's begin now. The first module is this is a part one video. Uh, I'll be covering the random variables and processes here probability sample space events so relationship between those two. Next topic is conditional probability, which is the most important one. Then random variables, static averages in that function of a random variable moments. Then random processes, then uh, mean, correlation and covariance function. Also co auto -co covariance and cumulative distribution. In that it's also included auto correlation and cross correlation functions. Next is Gaussian process where Gaussian distribution function properties are explained. And also the central limit theorem is covered. Another one thing majorly program which is the most important thing in this module is the program where it is given for the generator probabil probability density function of a Gaussian distribution function. It has been asked in the three papers. So it is a very important do learn the program. It is um, guaranteed question in the question paper. So let's start. So before starting with the module, you have to know the basic some of the definitions that you need to know because they might ask in the exam, like what is uh, sample space and all. So basic terminology is first outcome. Outcome means it's the end of result of any of the experiment, uh, like head or tail in tossing a coin. Next comes trial. Here, single performance of a random experiment. One performance is called trial. One attempt to toss a coin is called as trial. Random experiment, any experiment whose outcome that is S are not known in advance. Like what is the output, like what is the outcome? It's not known, like tossing a coin. Next is random event where an event or a set of outcomes of a random experiment. That tossing a coin, it is an event. You are doing an event. Uh, for that sample space or what? H and T, that is head and tail. Either random event is what, either you will be getting a head, that will be an event, or you will be getting a tail, that will be an event. Mutually exclusive event, here two events are said to be mutually exclusive if you have no common element. Example is dice rolling. See, uh, you have a dice, the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For the even numbers, you are having 2, 4, 6. For the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5. Less than 4 is 1, 2, and 3. So here you can observe this even number and odd number. These two functions, uh, these two events are mutually exclusive means There is no common element between these two. And when you compare uh, even number and this less than 4, 2 is common. When you compare odd number and less than 4, 1 and 3 are common. So these two uh, events are mut not mutually exclusive. Sample space, it's a set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment, tossing a coin that is um, head or tail. Event, it is a sim single sample point or you can say set of sample points in a sample space. Elementary event is a single sample point. 
next question i'll start with the next topic which is a probability this question is asked as define probability with an example discuss their properties that is axioms uh, relationship between the probability sample space and events probability it's a numerical measure of the likelihood or a chance of an event occurring it is defined as the ratio of number of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes like what is like uh, outcomes you are getting divided by total number of outcomes but here all the outcomes should be equally likely this is a formula for the probability it always ranges between 0 to 1 0 means it's an impossible event 1 means it's a certain event you have to explain with an example that is toss a coin we are having two possible outcomes of a coin that is one either it is heads or tails so favorable outcome of getting head is what head can come only once so one so it is a probability of head the favorable outcome which is a one divided by total outcomes that is head and tail that is two so one by two it is 0 0.5 it lies between zero and one next is prop uh, properties or the axioms it is being asked uh, properties first property is probability of an event lies between 0 to 1 that is 0 less than p of a or less than or equal to 1 total probability of a sample space is 1 that p of s is 1 if a and b are two mutually exclusive events then p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of p next is you have to write the relationship between the sample space events and probability this is a sample space that is mapped to an event and that event has a probability which lies between 1 and 0 Venn diagram for the representing the three axioms that I have said is a and b are the two events that lies in between the sample space yes this is mutually exclusive no common here not mutually exclusive because there is a common region if P is an area of space S with S is equal to 1, then P A bar is equal to 1 minus P of A. This is also a continuation of the uh, axioms. Then P of A union B, it is given as P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. This is called a joint event. Next is P of A1 plus P of A2 plus P of A till p of am is 1 that is total number of all the uh, probabilities should be equal to 1 where this a1 and a2 and am are mutually exclusive events next question is what is conditional probability prove it it's a very important question conditional probability of b with respect to a it is defined as probability of an event b under that event a happens or already has been occurred this is with respect to b we are saying generally if you want to say like p of b by uh, b by a is a probability of an event b given that a has already occurred so then p of b is a p of b by a is a conditional probability suppose in an experiment you have a pair of output that is a and b are the events so p of b by a is given as p of a intersection b divided by p of a consider this as equation one where this p of a intersection b is a joint probability now the, take this denominator to the left hand side it gets multiplied that is the equation here it is rearranged now for a intersection b you wrote like this for a, a b by a make it a by b so that what happens here p of a intersection b divided by p of b so this p of b goes here that that is what written in the equation 2 and the joint probability of the two events may be expressed as a product of the conditional probability of one event given the other elementary probability of the other is the conditional probability so by the base rule we can say that p of p by a is equal to p of a by b dot p of p divided by p of a that is we are substituting this equation 2 in the equation 1 in this place where p of a is not equal to 0 next next is next topic is random variable it's a rule which assigns a real number to each possible outcome a function whose domain is a sample space and a range is set of a real numbers it is called as a random variable tossing a coin like head means one tail means zero we are considering we are actually assigning a real number that is one and zero now numbers are assigned so therefore what if outcome of an experiment is yes then the random variable is x of s the particular outcome of the random variable is x of s k is equal to x small x note that there are uh, may, there may be more than one random variables associated with the same random experiment so random 
variables can take the discrete values or the continuous values. Discrete values, if it take, it is called as discrete random value. If it takes the continuous value, it is called continuous random value. This is a sample space. This is a variable, random variable. This is a probability. This map it to this and this is map it to here. This is a relationship between the sample space, random variable and probability. Now let us consider x as a random variable. The probability of an event that is x which is less than or equal to small x. You can say p of x less than or equal to x. So this uh, function fx of small x which is bounded between 0 to 1 and it is a monotone that is equal to p of capital X less than or equal to small x. It is called as a cumulative distribution function that is cdf. So taking the der derivative of this uh, equation what do you get small fxx is equal to dfx of x divided by dx. Now we are considering that p of x1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to x2 that can be written as what p of capital x less than or equal to x2 minus p of capital x minus or less than or equal to x2 based on this we are substituting it for x1 and x2 now this can be uh, written as what function of fx of x2 minus fx of x1 so on next step is fx of x for one fx of x standard definition is integration of x1 to x2 fx of x into dx now what do we get on uh, x1 is equal to minus infinity and x2 is equal to infinity we make it as eta that is equal to uh, fx of infinity is 1 and fx of minus infinity is 1 so that gets substituted so 1 minus 0 is 1. Next topic is several random variables. Few experiments require several random variables for the description so we will be considering here x and y two random variables joint probability distribution is fx of x comma y and xy xy is specific values then the output of the experiment will result in a sample point lying inside minus infinity less than or equal to x less than or equal to small x minus infinity less than e comma y that is less than or equal to small y of a joint space that is fxy similarly what we did in the last step but here we are considering two variables if the joint PDF that is probability distribution function is continued then the partial derivative that is f x y of x y that is given as we are doing the partial differentiation it is continuous. Here the joint probability distribution function is monotonic and it is a non-decreasing function. The total value under the graph of a joint probability distribution function must be unity. This equation says that. Next is condition probability density if we write for the given uh, x is equal to small x then we can write it as f uh, fy of y by x is equal to fxy of xy divided by fx of x. Next is static statistical average. This is an expected value or a mean of a random variable x that is mu x is equal to e of x that is minus infinity to infinity x into f, x of x mean gives the center of gravity of an area under the probability distribution curve joint probability distribution is a uh, pdf of two or more random variables so this is actually what is x and y are given by a partial derivative of the joint distribution function that will write it as like this now the function of a random variable let us consider x as a random variable with a real valued function that is g of x then y will be what g of x e y is given as what here we have given that e y here e x similarly for e y we are changing the y as g x g of x and we'll get the equation you might get a question on this problem like the random variable y is function of another random variable x such that y is equal to cos x this is a function where x is a random variable uniformly distributed in what minus in pi comma pi that is fx of x is equal to it lies between minus 1 by 2 pi where minus pi less than x or less that is less than pi 0 otherwise we have to find the mean of y mean of y is what e of y is equal to what are the limits minus pi to pi function is cos x cos x of what x is 1 by 2 pi 2 pi dx now integrate on taking 1 by 2 pi as constant outside cos x integration is sin x apply the limits minus pi to pi it is 0 
Next topic is moments. Let x be a random variable with a real valued function g of x is equal to x power n where nth moment of probability distribution of x is e of x power n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x n f of x into x into dx. The first two moments are important that is for n is equal to 1 put substitute n is equal to 1 to this equation you get this simple this becomes 1. This is called as a mean of a random variable. If you substitute for 2, then it becomes x square. Then here also it changes to x square. This is a mean square value of x. Now the central moment, here the moment of difference between a random variable x and its mean mu x. Here nth central moment is given by what? x minus mu x. That is you have to find the mean. Right? So whole power n which is equal to minus infinity to infinity x minus mu x whole power n fx of x into dx. Now substitute n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1, it is a central moment that is 0. For n is equal to 2, this is the second central moment that is a variance of a random variable capital X. So variance of x is given as what? E of x minus mu x of x whole square substitute 2 here for the n. Next it is minus infinity to infinity x minus mu x of square fx of x into dx. So variance is denoted as sigma x square square root of variance is a standard deviation of the random variable x so standard deviation is what square root of the variance variance is what sigma x square x square and square root will get cancelled that is sigma x which is equal to square root of e of x square minus mu x square so this was all about the part one of the module one uh, part two link will be in the description box please do go through the part two where i'll be discussing the random processes and the next important topics of the module one Thank you. Stay tuned. Do subscribe my channel. Thank you.